how to manifest any desire. And if I say any desire, I actually mean any desire. For instance, a new job, your dream job. I'm having my dream job and you are a witness of it. Or a new car, your dream car. I manifested a Tesla when it was impossible. It's not my dream car, but I'm so happy with it. Especially the big screen. Or a new relationship, a beautiful relationship. I'm together with my twin soul and to me that's the most beautiful relationship in the world because it's the person I love most. Maybe you want to unite with your twin soul or you want to have a soul connection, a relationship or any desire. I'm Lorraine Vesterink, welcome to my channel and I'm here to inspire people to live their dream. Because if you're living your dream, if you're daydreaming, you'll actually have this dream. So if you're into that, Let's start with the topic of today, non-duality. As a child, we always learn what is good and what's bad, right? I also teach that to my children. <laughs> Yesterday, my son was really angry and I taught him, well, this is not the way if you want to get your desire, <laughs> because at the end, he didn't have a really great afternoon. And in the evening, he got the message. So we teach our children what's good, what's bad. And good can only exist when there's bad. Like Abraham Hicks is always saying, contrast can be good because if you know what you don't like, you do know what you do like. So we need contrast. Other examples, beautiful and ugly. What's ugly to you, maybe it can be pretty to me or vice versa. For instance, my twin flame is the most beautiful person in the world. I think he's incredibly smart positive, sexy, handsome, kind, caring, woo, you know, to me, that's the best person in the world. To me, it's the best match for me and vice versa. He thinks the same, but for you, your twin soul or your beloved is the best match and vice versa. So what's good for me is maybe not good for you and the other way around. So it's also relative. We give meaning to something. We have the freedom and the power to give meaning to everything we see. Other examples, there's union and there's separation. And here we are getting closer to non-duality. Because if you have a desire, any desire, where I was talking about at the beginning, right? So any desire. At the opposite side, we have non-desire or desireless. So there's no desire. If you can unite those two, then you can allow the things coming into your life. Because if you don't desire it anymore, because you already have it, and that's the right way of praying, that's what they meant in the Bible by ask, believe, receive. It's asking while already having it. And that's in fact that you don't desire it anymore because you already have it. So you don't step into not wanting it anymore of course you want it but you don't feel the lack anymore so wanting desiring at the other side is not having not having your desire so it's abundance and it's lack and everything you do from this lack not having energy will cause because everything is cause and effect will cause that there is that you won't get your desire so here we have a solution non-duality can be the solution for you because if you can get into union with wanting and not having it then things can allow it so i always step into already having the desire and if that's difficult for you you can do my free new moon meditation and it's especially good right now because we are now in a new moon phase. You can do it every single day, every single night, every single morning, and it's for free. And I will put the link below. We have more free tools at Twins of School. So there are more free webinars, more free meditations, and you can just register below and you get directly access to the free moon meditation and more. The free moon meditation will help you to shift your identity into the identity of already having your desire. And then there is no separation anymore. There's union. If there's union within you, you will get your union. 
So it's the art of coming into union with your desire. And in the middle of desire and desireless is the affirmation, I allow things coming into my life. I allow my desire coming into my life because I already have it. It's already mine. So that's the affirmation of today. I allow my desire coming to me naturally because it's already mine. I allow my desire coming to me naturally because it's already mine. I also do with my hands, like it's coming to me because I don't have to do anything. I'm not going to send someone messages or, you know, pendulum or reading another card or calling another psychic or going out in the external world because everything is within you. If you can practice this non-duality, if you can practice this new meditation just within you and you get into union with your desire, then you will be guided to actually get the desire because you will get a hunch and lead, an intuitive lead, like, oh, you have to buy that lamp for your new home. There are many examples in this book. It's from Florence Covelshin, and this is one of my favorite books for the moment. I have the desire to become someone like Florence Scovel Shin one day. She's a real master. So I'm a teacher right now, but I would love to become a master. And she gives so many examples of her students of truth. And the examples, you can match them with your own life. And then you will get clarity. But it's written for advanced people. It's advanced English and it's advanced manifestation techniques. But I really recommend you to read this book. I bought a hard copy version because I really love this book. And uh, otherwise I, I buy paperbacks. But from the books I really like, I make sure that I have a hard copy version for my library because it's my gift to my children later in life. So because, yeah, there's so much truth in this book. And there's so much truth everywhere. You can find truth everywhere. Just feel what resonates with you most. So I found in this book the example of buying a lamp if you really want to have your new home and this lamp resembles the new home or a painting. I always buy something for my new home even if I'm not the owner yet. I buy something because that's active faith. That's faith showing to God, showing to the universe that you trust your desire, that you allow your desire because it's already yours. The house is already yours. So you can follow your intuition. You can follow the leads. And if you're not sure, you can ask for a definite lead. And then you will get a second hunch to buy the lamp or the radio. I bought a radio. It's standing over there. I'm looking at it. I once bought a radio for the wooden house, the log house. Maybe you've seen it on the other videos. It was something that I bought. And only half a year later, I actually bought a house. And I am adapting this with everything in my life. So if it's health, if it's my relationship, if it's concerning a holiday. <laughs> so yeah, you can follow your hints and it's easy because then you get your desires effortlessly. Speaking of non-duality, there's effort and there's no effort. And in the middle, there's effortless. So if you want to get something, if you want to become a famous actress, then no effort will not bring you to be a famous actress. But if you're putting too much effort and you think it's never good enough and you're always trying and you always want to do your best and more than your best and trying for more and thinking that it's not enough, then it will not guide you to become this famous actress that you actually desire. If you play the role of being the actress that already have all the good roles, then you will get the roles. That's non-duality. And if your affirmations don't work, because affirmations, they are useful, but on my twin soul journey, they were only the tip of the iceberg at the end. I already did all the rest. So for, for many years, I think I started healing when I was 30. So yeah, for 15 years, I did some healing, self-love, I practice self-love. I even wrote books about it before I was on the Twin Flame journey about self-love and healing. And I also created a Heal Your Past method. 
And you can use any healing method as long as you heal before you start affirming. I believe that my Heal Your Past method is unique and it's very effective. And I just recorded the Heal Your Past meditation and it comes with the Heal Your Past module. And this meditation only takes 23 minutes. Can you imagine the first time that I was triggered with my twin flame? It took me half a year to go past it. So I was at the dark night of the soul and I didn't know how to heal. So it took me half a year to get over it. And later it took me only one month if I was triggered or one week or one day or half a day. And now only 23 minutes and I can do it in five minutes. And one of our coaches, she could do it also in five minutes. She got a ring but she didn't get the proposal and she went upstairs and she thought, well, I need to do a meditation of Lorraine. I need to, to do a module. I need to do something. And then she thought, no, the truth is within me. I can heal this. You know, I have the heal your past method in my backpack, so I can just do it right now. And it will only take me a few minutes. And she did it. And the same evening, her twin soul proposed. She's one of our coaches. We have coaches in twin soul school. They're together with their twin flame. They followed all my courses and I trained them to do the heal your past method if you don't want to do it alone but I created the heal your past method so you can be your own coach so you don't need them you don't need a coach you can learn it and you can actually use it method to coach other people it's really complete if I would train you I would ask for like 2,000 euros for this training but now I recorded it and it's the most expensive module in Twin Twinsel School at the moment, but it's the most valuable and it's life changing. So yeah, that's incredible. So if, if the affirmations are not working, then use a healing method, a proper healing method. And a proper healing method helps you to neutralize your emotions. And, if, and you can also use essential oils, but I don't think that's enough. They can guide you and support you. You really have to neutralize your emotions from the past so you will not repeat it again. Because if you affirm, oh, my twin soul is thinking about me every day. So you're, you're affirming about the external and then your twin soul comes back into your life, but you're not healed. And then you will repeat the same old story again. And the last thing I want to give to you is self-love. Because if you do the affirmations and you do the new identity shifting, but you're not really embody self-love, so you're the one who got all the desires, but you don't love yourself and you don't think you're worthy of your desires, then you will lose them again. So let's wrap it up. Self-love and healing are the basis. It took me many years, but I recorded modules so you can do it much faster. In our Twinsel school, we have a course so you can discover what's a Twinsel relationship about and how to deal with your twin soul. Because it's a different type of a relationship. So if you want to manifest your new with your twin soul, then it's good to know how this relation works. And we start with balance to get rid of third parties like a person or a distance or a age gap. You know, it can be lots of things. So that's the basis. Then we continue with the second module and it's self-love. And then we step into trust, etc. And besides that, we have the Heal Your Past method because not everybody needs it because some people are already advanced. They are already healed. So then you don't need it. But if the affirmations are not working, then I recommend you to step into self-love to heal the past and then finally do the free new moon meditation. And of course, the affirmation of today, I allow my desires to come in naturally because they are already mine. I allow my desires to come in naturally because they are already mine. It's yours and you're flamazing. And every day you flamaze more. And I mean, you will get closer to your goals. If you do this every single day and you reflect upon your day, did I step into non-duality or did I step into not having my desires? Or did I step into allowing my desires because they were already mine? And yeah, that's very relaxing. Did you talk about your desires like you already have it in the Twin Soul app, for instance? We have an app where we do all those things and I give daily inspiration. You can chat with me on a daily basis. But for now, if you like this video, I appreciate if you like the video 
If you share your comment below, share your affirmation below, subscribe, of course, share it with your friends, share it with people who need to know about how non-duality can help them to get any desire. And if you do that, more videos are coming your way. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.